everybody! Today I'm going to make really simple and quick side dish with small dried anchovies. So it's called Melchi Bokkum, stir fried dried anchovies. But I'm going to add peanuts. Maybe you went to a Korean restaurant, they bring many side dishes and there is some small tiny kind of anchovies and with peanuts. You just see that, oh, this is so, so delicious, crunchy and sweet, nutty. And I saw a lot of, lot of people who kept eating, eating this. Even just uh, it run out before real main dish comes. Today, let's make it so easy and fast. This is uh, really tiny, isn't it? So this anchovies, uh, we are going to use this. And when I make stock, this large anchovy, around three to four inches. And this is even between, between this. A little larger than very tiny anchovies. In Korean grocery store, you will see really several kind of different size. But today, I will just make this with this really tiny anchovies, this one. We call this chiri melchi and chiri melchi. Melchi is anchovy. So first, let's measure one cup. One cup, two ounce, and 60 grams. I will put it in my strainer. It's a coarse mesh strainer. And shake this. So it's a little kind of a look like a, a little dust. You know, we just remove this. I will use just one large clove of garlic. So let's mix. Never skip garlic. It removes a little fishy smell and also really go well together. This is vegetable oil, around one tablespoon. Medium heat. I will add garlic here. Add my anchovies. And stir fry. This is peanuts, roasted peanuts. I will use around half a cup. If you have some allergy in peanuts, you don't have to use. You can use other nuts, walnuts, any, any kinds of your favorite nuts, and add these peanuts. And keep stirring until peanuts are very crunchy and anchovies are just light brown. So this is medium heat. So slowly, I'll just you know, stir fry around a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to make this sauce for this. In the old days, we added a lot of soy sauce, but by itself, it's salty enough. I'm going to use only one teaspoon soy sauce and one teaspoon water. Same amount, brown sugar, one tablespoon. You can hear the sound, tick tick sound. Rice syrup is optional, but when you add just a little one teaspoon uh, rice syrup, it makes it really shiny. One teaspoon and mix. You see, peanuts are light brown. Okay, this is very hot. Let me taste this. Mmm. Good. I will just turn off the heat. Push it this way. But this, my pan is very hot. And mix. Nicely, well done. And then, this is sesame oil, one teaspoon. Yay, done, done. <laughs> in five minutes, we made this. Awesome. And you know, in the old days, I used to make a lot. And I just keep in the refrigerator like for one month. One month, and even after one month, it's still left over. Make this with only one cup small dried anchovies, and you can eat it just for one week, you know. And then 
Later you can make it again. Last one is uh, sesame seeds. Around one teaspoon. All done. When it's cooled down, transfer this to airtight container and then keep in the refrigerator. Today I'm eating just really simple lunch. I made miyokku, seaweed, seaweed soup, and then melchibokum plus kaktugi. Kim. Crunch, crunch. Never hungry. We have some kimchi in the refrigerator all the time. So this is kim. And then let's do this. Well fermented, my kaktugi. Usually kaktugi, I have to take some and then small bowl. But today is special because I want to show you how I'm kind of eating sometimes. You just take it out from the refrigerator and eating just like this. Kim, what I'm doing usually, I just put some rice here. Like this. And one kaktugi. Kaktugi and anchovy. Make a wrap and eat. Miyoku. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this little bite is really nice and tasty. You can use also spoon like this. Spoon use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sweet and crunchy and nutty. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so today we made melchi tangkong bokkum, stir fry dried anchovies and peanuts. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.